It's eight in the morning. We gotta get some coffee. Uh, we gotta get working on this truck over here. Now you guys are probably wondering, like, if you saw that last episode, you're probably wondering, like, why is it on Trailer Squad? Well, I went and showed my grandpa, who was in a rest home, who back in the day was obviously around these trucks a lot, and he was like, he just came out in his wheelchair, and he was like, did a good job, grandson. And so basically, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to surprise him. I'm gonna try to surprise him fix this up and he gave me some suggestions which we're basically gonna do we're gonna go by whatever he said and then it won't be this episode that we deliver it to him it'll probably be next episode i'm not sure it might be like literally the video will be posted tomorrow i don't know yet but if you guys haven't seen it last episode went on craigslist was searching for a tractor and this truck came up for 17 for 1750 bucks picked her up from little jimmy and his grandpa and then we brought it back which I made a bad mistake and I have a truck there still. I made a horrible mistake and I uh, I, I kind of screwed that up. I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean though. So originally this truck came with a gooseneck trailer and me being an idiot, I decided to take this Freightliner and this Big Tex. But then I kind of ran into a situation where I didn't have another truck to pull back that trailer. I'll show you guys the trailer over over here. So what I, sh so what I ended up doing is taking the Freightliner in that bumper pull trailer and hauling one of my personal trucks on that trailer just so I could eventually come back and pull this this big tax. But what I what I should have done is just originally took this truck and drove this here. Only this truck. Since there was a gooseneck trailer and that 86 K30 already here, I could have just disconnected the, the big tax that was already on that K30. And then load and then load it up the K30 on this trailer and just hold it back with one truck. But now I have to drive this separate truck back. Hopefully that's not too confusing. So we're gonna pull this Freightliner around, back this truck up, and then put her on the lift. Now I've been the weird thing is is I've been doing like all my maintenance. Oh shoot, are we gonna make that? We should be able to make it. I've been doing like all my maintenance and like you know uh, restorations on trucks pretty much in this shop, which this is a power sports store. I should probably be doing it in there, but I don't. I don't know, I don't, I kind of like this area better. I'm thinking of switching up the buildings soon and kind of switching up RCC in general, maybe even moving to a new map. I've moved, we moved locations once already. Heck, it'd be fun to move again and set up my new dealership again. I just, I love setting it up. It's, it's fun doing that. So I'm gonna disconnect this. Should probably take off the hook. Yeah, let's take off the hook. So all you do, just drop the hook. There we go. Sorry if I'm moving too fast. Um, and then hook can stay right here and then eventually it'll attach to the truck. Check this out. Okay. So I hit Q to attach it and then boom, it just attaches right here. Real nice and everything. So all we got to do now is fire up the, sh oh, it won't fire. That's right. It won't fire up, <laughs> but we got to roll it out here and then just put her on the lift, which is that going to fit? She's got a, she's got a big butt. She's got a big booty back here. I don't know if she's going to fit two duels. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm speaking of the duels. Okay, anyways, um, we're going to put, and then we're going to put this on here. I don't know if it's going to fit. It should fit. I think I put duallys on here. We should be good. So we should probably always talk to our mechanic before we do this. I got the truck on the lift, and the mechanic said for the flatbed, we're going to have to take it to a truck store, a truck sp a person specialized in trucks for the flatbed because we don't have the flatbed, the special flatbed for this truck in stock, even though we're like RCC, a truck store. I don't know. We must have bad management or something, but we don't have that in stock. So once we get this done for the flatbed, we're going to have to go take it. We're going to have to go take it to a different shop. I think the smart idea would be to just go put the flatbed on first, put the flatbed on first and then do the rest. But then if we're going to be working with paint, I don't know what's the best way to do this. I wish I, I wish I honestly wor like worked on cars and new and new new cars and trucks a lot better. I think take the flatbed, go g get the special flatbed on, and then bring it back. Maybe I should put new paint on. Probably not before we put the flatbed on. I'm gonna go put the flatbed on, and then we'll bring it back. You guys know the process. Attach the hook, winch her up. I'm kind of angry that our shop wasn't ready for this project yet, just to get the flatbed on. So we're gonna. It's kind of embarrassing to have to go to another truck shop to get the special flatbed on. It's fine though. We'll do all the work, our, the rest of the work ourselves, attach it, and then start winching, turn her on. I, and I'm, for a lot of, a lot of different like restorations when we go and get different trucks, I'm gonna start using a different truck to, to come back and pull it, not the Freightliner, just to switch things up eventually. Pull this on. Dude, I love 
I, I love like winching stuff on the trailer now that we got this winch but actually oh shoot she's pulling hard so cool just watching this go come on brother by the way guys thank you for liking last video I, I really appreciate when you guys like it you guys are like you guys are like awesome it's it's just cool seeing like you know 3,000 likes after a day it, it really means a lot so thank you guys come on brother there we go little birds just walking there the birds in this game are kind of funny I saw one, we were, we were doing a camping video, and one bird just comes flying out of the sky, goes straight into the ground, and it was like it was dead. I was like, that was pretty cool, that giants is that realistic. It, it literally just came straight in the cement and just, like, died. There we go. Okay, I think there's a setting for a fast wind. Yes, there is. Left shift Z. Let's see how fast this fast wind is. Okay, it's pretty darn fast. There we go. And good. Good. We're good right there. Okay, so now uh, we can leave that running quick. Let's go deliver this truck, and then we should get it back two days later. Oh, here we go. Hold up the ramps. Let's go. Heck, I probably could have... This should be our entrance. He said drop it off at the back door. I probably could have just, like, yanked this truck over there. RCC is literally, like, right there. It was just right down the street. So now what we're going to do is pull her back. He's going to eventually open the door. We'll put her in his shop. Oh, that's awkward. There's a truck. Okay, sometimes a, that's a truck from like a like three months ago video that I left there when I was picking up a semi and I totally forgot. And I remember a couple people saying in the comment section like, Squad, your truck's there from two months ago, man. It's still there. You need to go pick it up. We need to pick that up. Oh my gosh. Okay, watch out, brother. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to undo this. He's going to open the gate. We're going to unload her. We're going to get a flatbed put on this, and then the real work for us begins. Well, he said he'd have it done two days later at the end of the day. It's two days later, literally at the end of the day, and she's out front. I was driving by, picking up some gas, and I saw her out front. I was like, okay, he's going to probably call me soon since it's done, and he calls me like 10 minutes later. Perfect. By the way, guys, in case you didn't know, this is David Brectuso's shop that I went to to add the flatbed. Uh amazing guy did an awesome job he said if i gave him a shout out give me 10 percent off this deal and what he did is he was smart he didn't put a new flatbed on since i told him we we're gonna be painting and stuff he put an old one on and it's kind of like paints chipped and stuff and i was like heck i'm cool with that brother we're gonna paint her up we're gonna fix her just toss a flatbed on there so this is what we got that's a solid wood okay there's it's a used flatbed but heck i like it there we go. Don't get me wrong. It was cool. What you what you want, bro? Oh, gosh. He's looking at me. Oh, bro, come on. Okay. Um, anyways, it's it's a nice, solid flatbed. Look at this. It's it's old school. I like it. Don't get me wrong. I did like the box that was on there. It was it was pretty neat having the box because what happens is most of the time when people when these trucks rust out and the box starts really rusting out, people will just toss on a flatbed. And so I was like, heck, I kind of want to be different. Maybe I should just keep the box because that's what people just always do a cheap way out if their boxes are just tossed on a flatbed. But I, I kind of want to turn this into a work truck. So that's what we're going to do. So I got to back this up. Still using the Freightliner. Uh, I was like, it's connected to the trailer. Let's just use it still. Oh my gosh. Almost hit that guy. There we go. Last video. I, I, I always look through the comment section. Seriously, thanks for commenting, you guys. But I was looking through. And Spider Gang Gain was like, bro, you take this game way too serious. And I was like, I didn't know how to react because like I, I try to take it really serious and like realistic. I was like, thanks, man. Want me one me sometime. Oh my gosh. Even though I get it because you can't want to be one farm sim. Oh gosh, dude. All these people, what is up with this? They're walking through my stuff. I want to get squared up to it, but we can get in the truck and we can kind of turn it. It should be fine. So there we go. And we gotta get the hook on, winch this up. I'm tired of like winching this up. We need to get this engine running so I can drive it. That way I don't have to haul it from shop to shop. So I literally just set my hook here and it went through the ground. The hook's gone. Like I just dropped it and whoosh, just goes right through the ground. Gotta get a new hook. We're on a hook run. Oh gosh, you guys know where the other hook is? <laughs> oh, I know, I know how to get a hook. You guys probably know where I can get a hook from. Mr. Chow, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm not getting Mr. Chow's hook. We're going to go buy a different hook. It took me a while to go buy that hook, and now we got it, so I'm going to connect it. 
Perfect. She's ready to rock and roll. And we're going to turn on the winch. Start with winching her up. I'm going to use the fast winch this time. That way we can go a little faster. Oh, yeah. Guy's looking at my truck right there. Nice. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And... Holy squeak. We'll call her. There we go. Perfect. Um. Okay. Ready to rock and roll before these people start walking through my truck and trailer. Dude. Oh, my gosh. They keep just walking through it. It's kind of annoying. There we go. <laughs> Let's try to dodge them. Okay, so I'm going to take this back. As you can see, flatbed is all on her. And shut the winch off because I can hear the winch still running. And then it's all ours. It's all ours from now. We're going to do everything, restore everything. Um, so as far as engine, get the engine working. No new engine in there. If I can, if I can salvage the engine and still use it in this truck, I'm going to use her. Um, as far as paint, a couple different color ideas. We got to finalize them, but I'm thinking black. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to go with the original color because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some beefier. There's already mud terrain tires on this, but I'm going to put some beefier muddy mud, mud terrain tires on it even more than this. So it's going to be like a mud bog and track almost. Uh, I'm going to tint the windows for sure and then put a nice coat of paint on there. Maybe upgrade the engine. We'll see. I kind of want to keep the same engine. We'll see. Maybe I can do some upgrades to it. So I'm going to pull this around, unload her, and then put her on the lift. And the next time you guys see this, this truck is going to be complete. She's going to be done. She's going to be... It looks like it's smoking, dude. Look at the truck. But no, it's going to be done. I'll be pulling her out. Heck, we'll have to put the flatbed back on her. Or not the flatbed, but the, uh, the gooseneck trailer back on her. Let's see how she tows after I get the engine done. So, see you guys when she's done. Well, here she is, boys and girls. The matte. I went all black. It's like matte or matte black. I forgot how people say it. It looks so clean, the front. But the back, okay, and then we went, we went like pretty much not even a, a road tire. Like, these are some beefy tires. I think I should have went a little thicker tires in the front. It would be cool to put some wide tires on this. Don't get me wrong. Some wide duels in the back. But what I did is we have the flatbed on here now. I don't, how much do you guys like this flatbed though? That's the thing. I'm thinking about taking this flatbed and going back and we have the old box still that we took off the back. And I'm thinking about returning this flatbed. We cleaned it up real nice and heck, maybe I could keep it for a different truck. But I think with this old Chevy, you need the box on it because the back box looks so cool. And so I, it's a lot of work to switch these out and I already made the decision, but I'm thinking, heck, I should reverse my decision. We should put the box back on. It's going to be a lot of work to clean it all up. I think the box is going to work look better. I don't know what you guys think, but I think if we if we keep the if we take the flatbed off again and put the box back on, clean it up, put a black paint job just to match the front, it'll look clean. And so, I think that's what I'm going to do yet. I put red interior. We went the interior was like perfect, you guys saw, but I went and put red interior in there. I'm not going to start it up until we put the box back on. I know this, like some people are like, oh man, why are you putting the box back on? But I want to put the back, box back on, even though I, I want to try it. We'll see. So I'm going to put her on the lift. I'm not going to drive her to the lift because I don't want you guys to hear the engine just yet until I get her finally complete. The last thing before the final reveal, I'm, I grabbed the Duramax and we're bringing that trailer back that came with it. I'm going to spray this trailer black make this look sick we're gonna hook it up to the truck which now has the box on it haven't showed you guys that yet and this will be all sprayed down everything blacked out it'll look clean Here she is guys, the Chevy K3086. I'm so glad I went with the bed. The bed makes it look a ton better. I couldn't get the trailer to fully match. I got it as close as possible. I may be able to get a different black color on it. We'll see. It's kind of a little lighter than this black color. This black color looks amazing on it. 
with the rims, especially at night. That was a sweet view on there. I love all the lighting on it, the cab lights. Man, it looks sweet. And then just for you Chevy fans, man, I had to toss a Ford on there so the Chevy's pulling the Ford. Just for you guys. Uh, but uh, this looks fantastic. Now it's time to take it for a drive. I'm not going to show my grandpa yet. I want to show him this truck. He was like, he was like, show me it when it's done. I'm not going to show him yet. I do have to take pictures for the guy and send him pictures of this truck. The startup, the idle on this thing. Sounds amazing. Okay, so listen to her drive. And then, I didn't know this, but on the truck, check this out. Here, I'm going to unhook from this trailer quick so you guys can see this. Um, there we go. So we're going to unhook. We're going to put down the tailgate. Check this out. On the gooseneck, you can slide it. You can literally slide the gooseneck to where you want it. It's like really nice. I'm For now, I'm just going to put it over the center of the, the back axle. Like right there. But it's kind of cool that you can slide it. So like, say I slide it all the way back. Then I go to hook up to it. It hooks up all the way back there. Now if you slide it after that. Oh. If you slide it, I don't think. Yeah, see it. See, but now. Say I unhook. Then I hook up. Then it'll grab it on the front. Kind of neat. Uh, that's probably that's probably too much over the tires. But there we go. We'll hook up right there. Hold up the tailgate. Ready to haul this beast. We'll see how she does. I tuned the 6.2 liter Detroit diesel, so it's got she's got a little more horsepower now. Go fly. It's still nothing compared to today's truck, but man, as far as engine and like horsepower and torque, but man. It's still beast. I don't know. What should we name her? I was thinking Darth. It's all black. I don't know. I feel like I name a lot of my trucks Darth, though. Look at that. I wonder if... This, did this truck have a solid axle? Solid front axle? I think the Ford does. I don't know if this Chevy does. I'm assuming it did back in the day. I can't tell by looking at the axle. Yep. I, I honestly can't tell by looking at the axle. Man. And then if we look at the interior, all red interior, all the gauges work, speedometer, everything. They all work good besides maybe RPM. I guess I am going full throttle. See, you can see I'm 45 mile an hour. We're going like 50. It's right on point. It's right on point, man. Oh, this is sweet. One thing with my new truck, I bought an F, uh, F250 2017 6.7 Power Stroke. They have a solid front axle. Like a lot of Jeeps have solid front axles. And you can feel like a lot of bumps. Like when you go over bumps, you can feel it, it come to the steering wheel. On Chevys, the Chevys have independent front uh, suspension and they absorb sus suspension a lot better. My, my truck feels like it drives like a dump truck with a solid front axle. You can feel like a lot of the bumps. It's, I think they're built a little stronger, but then again, it's not as smooth as ride as like a, like a Chevy. That's only with the, the heavy duty trucks though, like the three quarter ton and one tons. Man, you can drive forever with this truck. Okay, we got a hill coming up. Nice. Oh, there we go, dude. Oh my gosh. This looks nice. Look at that. Over Creek, one mile away. We're one mile outside of town. It's time to pull over, stop, just admire. Now, if I do use this truck enough, and like in farm sim, once it gets some damage on her, you can see that green bar that's like the, the wrench there. Once the damage starts getting lower, it the truck will start chipping away. I don't think you can see any chips right now, but that's just like, that's what that's what the modder David uh, from Expendables made it to where like it'll start chipping away, which is kind of cool. But here's the truck, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. I'd, I'd seriously appreciate it so much. Seriously, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, consider subscribing. Thanks, guys.